In this video, we're quickly going to talk about cycle notation. So let's say we have a permutation written in array or two-line notation. Say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so this will be an element uh, in the symmetric group of degree 5. And then here we have, say, 3, 5, 2, 4, 1. And let's go ahead and write this in cycle notation. So this is called array notation or two-line notation. And we're going to write this in what's called cycle notation. And then we'll talk about what a cycle uh, actually is. So to write this in cycle notation, you write down a parentheses. And let's go ahead and start with one. Now, it doesn't matter which one you start with. I'm just starting with one because it's written first. So one. So in this permutation takes one and sends it to 3. So 1 goes to 3. So you just write the 3 down. You say, OK, where does 3 go? Well, here's 3. 3 goes to 2. So now you write the 2 down. You say, OK, where does 2 go? Well, 2 goes to 5. So then you write the 5 down. You say, all right, well, where does 5 go? Well, 5 goes to 1. And you say, wait a minute, 1 is way over here. So now you close the parentheses. So whenever you end up going back to where you started, you close the parentheses. And then here you have 4, so parentheses 4. And where does 4 go? Well, it goes back to where we started, so 4. So 4 is a fixed point, right? This permutation fixes 4. So we don't need to include this. We can actually write this as 1, 3, 2, 5. So this is called a 4 cycle. So it's a shorthand notation um, versus array notation. It's a 4 cycle. In general, if you have something like this, a1 dot dot dot, a sub k, and all of these guys are distinct, you say this is a k cycle, or simply a cycle if the length is understood. And if you have a 2 cycle, a b, where a is not equal to b, people call this a 2 cycle, and more specifically, they call it a transposition transposition. So two cycles are called transpositions. If you ever see that word transposition, what's that? It's, it's just a two cycle. Um, just to emphasize this, we could write this several different ways, right? There's lots of flexibility with cycles. So I'm going to shift everything. So I'm going to put the five over here, and the one's going to get shifted here, and the three's going to get shifted here, and the two's going to get shifted here. This is exactly the same for a cycle. Let's go ahead and, and draw a little diagram explaining what this uh, cycle does. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's see, so where does 1 go? Well, 1 goes to 3. So 1 goes to 3. Okay. And where does 2 go? Well, 2 goes to 5, right? 2 goes back to 5. So 2 goes to 5 in this cycle. And where does 3 go? 3 goes to 2. So 3 goes back to 2. 3 goes to 2, rather. And where does 4 go? Uh, well, 4 is fixed, so 4 goes to 4. And where does 5 go? 5 goes to 1. So looks really, really messy and complicated. But I guess if you wanted to explain what was going on, uh, this would be one way to do it. So again, cycles are just an easy way to um, write permutations, right? They're a little bit uh, tricky to work with, but that's how you convert uh, array notation into cycle notation.